I'd like to do a quick video of repairing my wizard rocket. The reason is this had some very unusual damage that we wouldn't expect. So I'm going to show you the damage and show you how I'm going to repair this. The wizard, this is a very, very light rocket. I have two of them. And this can go up to 1600 feet on a C65. I've actually used B4 force in this and it completely vanishes from sight until the streamer pops out. So a very, very high flying rocket because it's so light. But here's the damage. This damage is that the Kevlar cord and if you can see that, it has pulled apart and has, it has frayed until it's snapped. Now, you don't see Kevlar cord snapping very often. This is a 100-pound Kevlar cord. But you can see if we put the cord here, this is the point of the rocket where the ejection charge was hitting it directly. So what I'm speculating has happened was that after several ejection charges, it just pretty much charred and then snapped this 100 pound Kevlar cord. I have done this with several experiments where if the cord got extremely charred, it would snap very quickly. So the way I'm going to fix this, I'm going to put a hole higher up to run the cord in. This will allow me to put some wadding underneath in front of the cord up against the engine so that it's not going to get charred anymore. So again, an interesting problem, but it does require an engineering fix to make it work. Okay, so the first step was to put a hole in the body right here. I'm going to put the Kevlar cord in there, then it's going to run all the way down to this fin and get glued. So that's the easy part, just use a simple drill and uh, put a hole in there, just a little bit larger than the Kevlar cord. Okay, so I'm using this new Kevlar cord. It's a little bit thicker than the other cord. Um, I hope that's going to hold a little bit better. And I've put it through the body, out through the end, and I'm going to attach a small little swivel onto the end. So I have made a slip line knot around the, the swivel. So all I have to do is pull this tight like this. And I also have a little tiny piece of heat shrink tubing. And I'm going to put this heat shrink tubing over the knot and the swivel, just like this. And then I'm going to heat this up a little bit uh, with a lighter. And it's going to grip onto that and hold it extremely tight. And that will be securing this end of the swivel. And so now I have the attached swivel to the end using a slip line knot and a piece of heat shrink tubing. So this is going to be an extremely secure connection. So all I have to do now is just cut this proper length and glue it down along the side of the body right here. Let me take care of that.